Ugh. Shapes. They're an Australian snack that I hear talked about quite a bit from the Australian creators that I watch, which I didn't really realize until recently, but I actually watch quite a few. For one reason or another, it is a staple snack upon Australian culture. It's like the single most talked about snack that I can think of off the top of my head that Australians always seem to bring up. As an American, I assume these are going to be a lot like goldfish or Cheez-Its or something, but I don't know. And you can't really buy them. Ugh. You can't really buy them anywhere in America that I'm aware of at least. So I had to get them shipped over. But here they are. Australian shapes. I don't even know if the camera focused on that. Australian shapes. And I haven't tried them yet. This is going to be my first live reaction to them. But uh without further ado, let's just go ahead and bust into them. Uh, uh, that was already open. Bada bing. So, oh well. I was a little bit worried at first that these were going to be, uh, it's gonna be too much, but the bags are actually pretty small. And it feels like, feels like everything is in, is intact actually. I was also kind of worried how to get these shipped here. I was worried they were going to be ground into a fine powder, but they, they appear to be pretty good. So in case you couldn't see earlier, the flavors that I got to try are pizza, mini chicken crimpy, and barbecue. Whoop. Barbecue shapes. Um, I think the one I've heard the most talked about is barbecue. Uh, so that one I bet will be pretty good. All, I'm, I'm assuming all of these are going to be pretty good. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm going to start off with the mini chicken crimpy. The reason I'm going to start out off with this one is because I've heard people say this tastes a lot like the American snack chicken in a biscuit. And I, I believe that. So I know what that tastes like. So I'm going to go ahead and tear into this and see if that is accurate or not. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it smells good. Mmm, that is good. That's like, it's like chicken in a biscuit, but not as aggressive. <laughs> Not that chicken and the biscuits necessarily aggressive, but yeah, no, this is good. I like that quite a bit. It's almost like you're eating chicken noodle soup or something. That's pretty good. I will be finishing all that later, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse the palate. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the barbecue shapes next. The reason that I'm going to go for these next is because I have a feeling pizza is going to be my favorite because pizza is like my favorite flavored goldfish and I just have a vibe that this is going to be a similar experience. But let's go ahead and dive into barbecue shapes though. Okay, well, that's not the smell I was expecting, so a little odd kind of off the rip here. That looks pretty good though. Looks almost like one of those like spice crackers that they have at like parties and stuff. Mm. That's good. That is not the flavor I was expecting at all. Hold on, let me get another one. It's really good. Oh, wow, that is that is not what I was expecting at all. I was really honestly expecting more of like <laughs> more of like a Lay's barbecue flavor. This doesn't really taste like any traditional barbecue flavored chip I've had. This is more like uh, this is more just like herbs. <laughs> it's like it doesn't have any sort of like sweet flavoring on it like most barbecue chips have. It, it's very savory, but it, it's so it's not really what I expected, but that's pretty good. I, I mean, 
I'll get into my thoughts and how I rank them and everything at the end. But for now, pretty good. Let's dive into some pizza shapes then. Right, so now we have pizza shapes. Um, these are the ones I've been looking forward to the most. Uh, so far, the shapes have kind of lived up to the hype that I've built up for them in my head. I was a little worried because I was kind of scared I'd overhyped them, but so far, they've been pretty good. So, let's break right in. Oh yeah, that, that smells just like how the goldfish pizza smells. Also, kind of a weird thing, I'm not sure if I pointed it out, but they're called shapes. And I noticed that the chicken ones were like this. Ooh, that's a bad example. They're like, that's a bad example. They're like this circular shape. I was expecting them all to be a different shape, so now I'm kind of thrown off that the pizza shapes are the same shape as the barbecue shapes. But I digress. Let's go ahead and try one of these pizza shapes. Yeah, see? It's like the same shape as the barbecue one. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's about what I expected. Um, this is probably the only one that tasted exactly how I envisioned it, and it's very good. That is, that's like the classic sort of uh, pizza flavored cracker taste. So if you're into that, like if you like the the pizza goldfish, these are gonna be right up your alley. That's really good. So now I have tried the barbecue, the pizza, and the chicken crimby, crimbly, what's it called? Chicken crimpy, I've tried the mini chicken crimpy. So I've tried those three flavors of shapes. So I have a pretty good idea of how I rank them in my head, especially when compared to its American equivalents. But just to make sure that I'm not tripping, I got some goldfish here. I, In my head, I kind of envisioned goldfish to be probably pretty similar. Uh, looking at them now, texturally, completely different but a similar base taste. So I'm gonna crack into these goldfish here <coughs> and we're gonna see, holy crap. We're gonna see if these taste, we're gonna see if texture, texture wise on a base taste level, if I would prefer to eat these over shapes, kind of straight off the rip here. Let's see. Honestly, texture-wise and taste-wise, which I know this is just the ordinary and these are all like unique flavors, but honestly, I think the shapes in general are probably going to be better than the goldfish. Just, I think, based off my first impressions here. The goldfish just don't really have the same structural integrity. They're kind of like hollow. And I think that, oh, jeez. I think that that might make the shapes a little more satisfying to eat, honestly. So, I don't know. I think I might like shapes, shapes more than goldfish. <laughs> Maybe if this video does well, I can do a more in-depth uh, comparison in the future. Goldfish are still freaking good, though. Don't get me wrong. But all right, now that I've got that out of the way, uh, I think it's time to kind of go through these and rank them and give my final thoughts. So at the bottom of the three I tasted, I'm going to put the mini chicken crimpy. That's not to say that they're bad, but out of the three I tasted, this is the one that, you know, it, it was good. It, again, it is literally just a slightly better version of chicken in a biscuit, but uh, very comparable, uh, very good, but not the best of the three shapes I tried. And in the middle of the pack, I put barbecue because the taste is pretty good. It's not really this the barbecue taste I was expecting, but that was actually a welcome surprise. I was very shocked at how much I liked these. I was expecting these to be at the bottom, but this is the one, this is the flavor I've heard about the most, and it's pretty good. Uh, I, I like it quite a bit. 
But yeah, it's kind of middle of the pack for me just overall. But I do like the texture of these more than the chicken ones. And then, of course, at the top for me, we have the pizza shapes. These, I mean, they had the taste I liked. Uh, again, taste very similar <laughs> to the pizza goldfish. I know I've said that probably five times now, but it that is the same seasoning, but the texture of these is very nice. It's the same texture as the barbecue ones. I think it's a nicer texture than goldfish are, than Cheez-Its are. It's a very satisfying bite to it, and I, I really enjoyed it. It was really good. So, as far as shapes as a whole is concerned, I do think that they lived up to the hype, but I have a couple reservations. So, if you are just clamoring to go out and get some of these, what I mentioned at the beginning is that I am American, and I assume most of you watching are too. Um, if you want to get these shapes, you cannot just go out to Walmart and get them. I had to get them specially ordered and shipped here. Uh, you can actually order them off of Amazon. That's what I did, but there are other avenues as well. These are a very traditional Australian snack, so don't expect to walk into a Target and see these. But with that comes another caveat that's not really the shape's fault, but I do think it's the reason why I won't really won't recommend these shapes to a lot of people. The reason that I can't really do that is because the shipping cost is kind of up there. You know, like this is from Australia. It's a premium to get these delivered. Like I didn't spend over 50 bucks or anything like that, but like you can see kind of what's in here. It's 42 bags. They're pretty small, but this whole package was pretty up there. Like it, it wasn't cheap. So I think for that reason, unless you are just curious like I was on how these things taste and feel, uh, it's probably not gonna be worth it. They're really good. They're like one of the best cracker snacks I think I've ever had. But um, as far as being worth it, uh, I might get these maybe once a year from now on. Maybe. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> but uh, overall, I was not disappointed with shapes. I think that they, they really surprised me. I was expecting this to be kind of an underwhelming uh, experience, but I liked them quite a bit. Australia, <laughs> you won this guy over. <laughs> no, but seriously, they're pretty good. I like them. Uh, I'll leave a description down below uh, for the Amazon link. Something I should have mentioned at the top. I'm not sponsored by Shapes. We, uh, Dang Hippies is not in any way, shape, or form. Shape? We're not, we're not affiliated with Shapes at all. But they're pretty good, so go check them out. And if you liked this video and want to see more like it, then please consider subscribing to Dang Hippies. We'll give you all kinds of crazy content you can watch and possibly even chuckle about but all right i think that about wraps it up for me uh overall shapes you're pretty darn good mate you did a pretty good bang up job mate or something i don't know <laughs>